All right, you guys, 602 Boosa back at it again, out here with the RMX, just to kind of give you an idea of what's on it and what needs to get done to it. So as you can see already, the bike is fairly clean, but overall it does have some dirt going on that we need to take care of, especially around this front brake. You can definitely see that the rotor looks pretty dirty. Looks like there may be some fork oil that might be leaking on there that we gotta clean up. I've actually done the forks already, so the fork seals are good. We're not gonna worry about that, but we'll definitely clean up the front end there. And definitely down here, you can see a lot of grease and buildup and all that fun junk. So we're definitely gonna clean this up to make sure it's running right. Definitely gonna go through the brakes, bleed those out. That'll definitely be fun. But overall, great looking bike for the most part. Definitely looking forward to finishing up the mods to it. Speaking of mods, let's take a look and see what it's got. It's got the FMF Cold Series Fatty. And we've got the FMF Silencer. Always gonna need that. For the most part, that's it. <laughs> it's still got the stock carb in there, and I'm thinking that's what's giving me the problem. Now for this video, I went ahead and put on this Ricochet stand. You definitely wanna pick yourself up one of these if you're doing more Enduro than dirt. And for me, it's just a lot easier than having to remember to carry around the little triangle, and it's already attached, and it really doesn't get in the way. But the main problem that I'm having is with this carb. Man, this carb is really, really annoying. And I'm wondering what the problem is. I've read on so many different places, so many forums, that the stock carb on these bikes is super hard to idle. Now I can get this bike to idle, but it takes a lot of work. I mean, I pull out the air screw, which is actually combined here, so you've got the actual choke which is this knob here you pull up on it that's your choke and you push down turn off the choke but the problem also is that this same screw is your air to fuel mix screw and I don't know what happens I can pull it all the way up or all the way down and it just never wants to hold an idle I mean let me give you an idea what I'm talking about let me try and see if I can kick this bike over and show you what I mean shut off so that's after about a minute of playing with it trying to adjust the idle trying to adjust the air screw and everything it's, it's still giving me problems it just will not for the life of me idle or stay I'm done fooling with it I'm not even gonna really tear into it anymore to tell you the truth I have never even taken the carb off of this bike so let's go ahead and get the carb out see what it needs but I got a pretty good feeling that I'm going to have to replace what's in here. Let's go ahead and get this back in the garage. Okay, so now that we got the bike in the garage, let's go ahead and take off the tank, the seat, and remove everything we need to to get to the carb, and we're gonna clean it up. Man, that fuel hose was hard to get off, that's for sure. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, crack this carb open and uh, see what's going on in there. All right, so now that we got the carb out, let's take a good look at it and find out what is going on inside. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad. I mean, the O-ring looks good. Um, I'm thinking that this particular 
Okay, so that's the float. Let's take a look at our floats and see if they're sticking. No, floats look good. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So the floats have got good motion, we'll give it that. But there's still something keeping it from idling, so we're gonna have to check out the pilot and main jet and see what's happening with that. Let's crack that sucker open. There we go, loosen it up a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, I can see through that. That's actually not too bad. What is this? This is a 172 in there when I don't think it needs a 172, but we'll see. We'll find out more in a second here. Let's uh, get this guy out of here. And we're running a 52. It's like a 52 pilot jet, rather. So, yeah, everything was clean, so we'll clean up everything, put it back together, and then see where we end up. Six and a half hours later. All right, guys, so we tried putting in this old car, but took it apart again, and the thing's still idle like garbage. Changed some jets around, so I'm not happy with it. So what I went ahead and did is I picked up the PWK 38 millimeter Kaiheim car. This is the Air Striker. I'm hoping that this does better. So we just got done putting it in. I'm gonna throw the gas tank on and throw the seat on real quick, see if I can get it fired up and dialed in. And uh, hopefully this guy will idle. So we'll check it out and see. All right guys, so we got the bike out here. We just put the uh, new carb in. Let me go ahead and show it to you real quick. Looks really good actually, I'm impressed. Um, came out very easy to install. Uh, let me go ahead and just turn the fuel on while I'm here. So everything does look good with the carb. Um, all the lines are running where they should be. So let's go ahead and uh, fire it up and uh, see if we can get it to start the uh, first kick. Let's try it out. That's what I'm talking about. Starts up first kick. I love it. <laughs> I knew it. So, starts up first kick. Idle's good. So I guess the only other thing we need to do right now is to just go out and ride it. See how it feels. We'll save that for the next video. If you like what you saw in this video, definitely leave a like, comment, let me know what you think. I'm excited to get started on hitting some real dirt trails. I wanna hit some jumps. I wanna hit some trails, man. I'm really ready to do this this summer. So it's gonna be fun and this is gonna be the tool I think that uh, is gonna take me there. So let me know what you guys think. If you wanna see more content with this RMX 250, I'm gonna bring it to you if that's what you want. If not, I'm still gonna do it anyway because this thing looks so fun. I can't wait to get out and ride on it. So next video on this bike, we're gonna go ahead and take it out. We're gonna ride it, see how it feels, and see what other mods we can put on it to make it what we want it to be for the trails. 602 out.